Hi everyone, welcome to EJ Rose. So tonight, I'm going to tell you the history of the Louisiana Stickdome. So it all started in when they were building a new stadium, a, a big stadium in New Orleans. They'll take up and they decided to make a big stadium and they took up all this land, all this, this the lot right here, and they create something amazing. And then, finally, in, on August 5th, 1975, I think it was August 5th, I never remember. Oh, well, in 1975, they opened. The, it was this the stadium was we called the Louisiana Superdome, and it opened in 1975. It was an amazing stadium. It it hosted lots of games as the proud home of the New Orleans Saints. And here's what, let me show you what the, what the, what, what, let me show you what the Louisiana Superdome looks like without, without the, the without the, without the, switching to Oh, it has wheels. So here's the Louisiana Superdome. It was an amazing stadium until 2005 rolled in one of the biggest storms, Hurricane Katrina. The New Orleans streets were flooded. And then the Louisiana Superdome was destroyed, making this the end of the Louisiana Superdome. So they decided to do something better with this flat-like stadium. They decided to make a Bears stadium out of it. Being, they called the Superdome Mercedes-Benz one. So, like that, a year so, so just like so, they decided to redo the the, the Louisiana Superdome, and and just like that, in two thousand six, a year after Hurricane Katrina came, the Mercedes Benz Superdome. And then, and then, and then, for Hurricane Katrina, next to the stadium, next to the Superdome, was was a stadium home to the Orange Pelicans. The NBA basketball team and the New Orleans skyline wasn't good. It did look, it was, I didn't like it. looked a bit different. We didn't look different without the little stadium, without that stadium. So, so as soon as soon possible as soon as possible just like that in 1999 21 years ago smoothie king center opened up it was a, it, it's small but the mercedes benz superdome is bigger than the smoothie king center it was home to the new orleans pelicans and they chose 
a new player, Zion Williamson, to play with them, to play with the Pelicans. So, the skyline, so, so soon, the, so soon, the, the norms, norms was back together again to a better place, a city that never sleeps.